Hey, what's up guys, Steve here, and I wanted to state that today's video will include base rookie cards only, so no inserts, parallels, refractors, etc. While it would be tough to do this for most of my Junk Wax era videos, today I will also include recent sell prices for raw, ungraded cards. And kicking today's list off at number 15 is this 1996 Hoops Rookie, card number 281. Ungraded copies of this Kobe Rookie sell for about $10 to $20 on average. A PSA 9 in this card will currently set you back around $90, while a PSA 10 will cost you about $500. And the record sale of this Kobe comes back in February of 2021, selling for $1,347. Graded over 5,000 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 322 in a PSA 10, compared to 1,548 in a PSA 9. Up next at number 14 is this 1996 Collector's Choice, card number 267. Raw copies of this rookie card sell for anywhere between $10 and $30 on eBay. PSA 9s have an average sale price of $61.40, compared to a PSA 10 that currently sells for $387.08 on average. And the record sale of this card also comes back in February of 2021, selling for $1,505. PSA has graded this card just over 3,600 times, and a PSA 10 is a pop of 593, compared to 1,745 in a PSA 9. Coming in at number 13 is this 1996 Press Pass, card number 13. Ungraded copies of this Kobe Rookie currently sell for only $5 to $10 on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $83.19, while PSA 10s currently sell for $709.79 on average. And the record sale of this card comes back in March of 2021, selling for $1,525. With one of the lowest population reports on today's list, a PSA 10 is a pop of only 48, compared to 182 in a PSA 9. Up next at number 12 is this 1996 Skybox Premium, card number 203. Raw copies of this rookie card currently sell for $20 to $30 on eBay. You can pick up a PSA 9 of this card for a little under $100, while a PSA 10 currently sells for $527.38 on average. And the record sale of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $2,025 even. Rated just under 3,700 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 540 in a PSA 10 and 1,655 in a PSA 9. Just missing the top 10 is this Kobe Bryant rookie from the 1996 SP basketball set with card number 134. Raw copies currently sell for about $20 on average on eBay, but I have seen some sales as high as $50. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $85.31, compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $434.23. And the record sale of this Kobe Rookie also comes back in February of 2021, selling for $2,425 even. PSA has graded this Kobe Rookie over 9,000 times, and a PSA 10 is a pop of 960, compared to 3,937 in a PSA 9. Kicking off the top 10 is this 1996 Upper Deck Kobe Bryant Rookie, card number 58. Raw copy sales currently range between $12 and $30 on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 9 comes in at $89.98, compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $456.37. And the record sale of this card comes back in March of 2021, selling for $2,193.82. Graded over 7,000 times by PSA, this Upper Deck Rookie is a pop of 1,035 in a PSA 10, 3,457 in a PSA 9, and even 2,142 in a PSA 8. Up next at number 9 is this 1996 Bowman's Best Picks Kobe Bryant, card number BP10. 
This die cut base rookie sells for anywhere between $120 and $170 ungraded on eBay, while PSA 9s currently sell for $453.38. And with not many PSA 10 sale comps to go off of, the record sale of this card comes back in July of 2021 selling for $2,625.58. Only being graded 180 times by PSA, a PSA 10 is a pop of only 8, compared to 78 in a PSA 9. Coming in at number 8 is this 1996 Fleer Kobe Bryant Rookie, card number 203. Raw copies currently sell for anywhere between $12 and $30 on eBay. A PSA 9 of this card will set you back a little over $100, while a PSA 10 will currently set you back around $1,000. And the record sale of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $3,650. Graded over 3,500 times by PSA, this Fleer Rookie is a pop of only 322 in a PSA 10, compared to 1,548 in a PSA 9, and even 1,105 in a PSA 8. Up next at number 7 is this 1996 Skybox Z-Force, card number 143. You can pick up a raw copy of this Kobe Rookie on eBay for about $20 to $30. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $144.20, compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $830.68. And the record sale of this Kobe Rookie comes from a golden auction back in March of 2021, selling for just short of four grand. Graded just over 3,400 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 219 in a PSA 10 and 987 in a PSA 9. Coming in at number 6 is this 1996 Ultra Kobe, card number 52. You could pick up a raw copy of this card for between $20 and $40 on eBay, but you will have to shop around, as I did find some higher comps around $60. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is only $147.47, compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $2,251.75. And the record sale of this Ultra Rookie comes back in February of 2021, selling for $5,688.88. Graded over 6,500 times by PSA, a PSA 10 is a pop of 331, compared to 2,403 in a PSA 9, and even 2,597 in a PSA 8. Kicking off the top 5 of today's list is this 1996 Metal Kobe Bryant Rookie, card number 181. As we get into the top 5, the prices of ungraded cards really start to go up, as this Metal Kobe Rookie currently sells for between $30 and $60 on eBay. You could pick up a PSA 9 for around $140, while a PSA 10 currently sells for just over $1,000 on average. And the record sale of this card comes in at $6,000 even. Graded just under 6,700 times by PSA, a PSA 10 is a pop of 576, compared to 2,416 in a PSA 9, and even 2,414 in a PSA 8. Up next at number 4 is this 1996 Topps Finest, card number 74. Raw copies currently sell for between $60 and $90 on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $206.69, compared to the average sale price of a PSA 10, which is $874.78. And the record sale of this card comes in at $6,726 even. With the protective coating, this Kobe Bryant rookie has been graded 8,662 times, with a pop of 1,706 in a PSA 10 and 4,658 in a PSA 9. It's worth noting the population reports are also showing 940 PSA 10s in existence without the protective coating. We get Kobe's flagship rookie at number 3 with this 1996 Topps, card number 138. You can pick up a raw copy of this rookie card on eBay between $50 and $100. 
A PSA 9 currently sells for around $270, compared to a PSA 10 that currently sells for just under $1,600 on average. And the record sale of this card also comes at the peak of the market in February of 2021, selling for $10,100. This Kobe rookie has been graded close to 28,000 times by PSA, and a PSA 10 is a pop of 3,628, compared to a massive 13,306 in a PSA 9. Even a PSA 8 is a pop of 7,022. Coming in at number 2 is this 1996 EX2000 Kobe Bryant Rookie, card number 30. I've seen a few lower grade raw copies of this card sell for around $150, while most listed as near mint to mint currently sell for $200 to $300 on eBay. PSA 9s currently sell for $1,437.85 on average, compared to the last PSA 10 that sold for just over $26,500 back in February of this year. And the record sale of this card comes back at a heritage auction that took place in October of 2021, selling for $49,200. Graded just under 5,000 times by PSA, this Kobe rookie is a pop of 763 in a PSA 10 and 1,977 in a PSA 9. Topping off today's list for the 15 highest selling Kobe Bryant base rookie cards is this 1996 Topps Chrome Rookie, card number 138. Raw copies sell for around $1,000 on eBay. I have seen a few go at auction as low as $800, but there has also been some bigger sales on the upwards of $3,000. If you want a PSA graded copy for less than a grand, believe it or not, you'll have to settle for a PSA 6 or lower, as the last PSA 6 copy sold for $825 back in February of this year. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is just over $2,000, while a PSA 10 currently sells for $8,843 on average. And the record sale of this Kobe rookie comes back in February of 2021, selling for just over $56,000. To all the regular viewers of my channel, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed seeing the raw copy prices. Thank you to everyone that watched today's video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.